Hi guys, it's Oldboy here and welcome back to another video. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you my Devastator squad. If you don't know already, I did do an unboxing on this squad. It's actually the video before this one, so if you haven't already checked it out, you can do if you want to. It's on about 50, 60 views at the moment, so if you wanna go and check that out, you can do. Let's try and reach that to the 100 view mark. Talking about views, my first ever video on the channel is about to hit a thousand views. You guys might not even know about this video because it was about eight months ago, but the last time I checked is on about 994 views, so it might already have hit the a thousand view mark by the time I post this video. So if it has, thank you guys for that. And now we can just keep on pushing it to maybe the 2000 view mark. Also guys, mentioning the support on the channel, we are on 157 subscribers. I didn't realize the subs were gonna go up that fast, but they have. So if we can get to 160 subs, that'll be great. So if you haven't already, please go sub if you are new. But if you have already subbed, please remember to leave a like on this video or a dislike, I do not mind. And on the Instagram, the support on there, like I always say, it's really, really good on there. I think we're on 440 followers now. So something really crazy like that. So we're almost at the 450 follower mark. So it'll be really good once we hit that. If you haven't checked my Instagram out already, this is the name basically on there. I just do exclusive photos and videos of models that haven't quite made it to the channel yet. So if you want to go check that out, you can do. But anyway, guys, let's get straight on to this Devastator squad. So guys, here is the 10-man squad of Devastators. As you can see on the turning table, we have the actual five from the box set. Then we have the five that I made using the tactical squad parts. And then at the very back, we actually have a Rhino that is dedicated to this squad. So first, I'll show you a little close-up on the five at the front. So here is the first one with the missile launcher. The missile launcher actually firing in motion, which I find really, really cool. And of course he's kneeling and he has the really cool backpack where it actually feeds the rockets into the missile launcher. Really like the look of this guy, really, really cool. Moving on to the next one. Here is the next one with the last cannon. I really like the look of the last cannon. I've never actually had a space beam with this, of course, because it's the first ever skater squad that I've got. But I really like the look of this guy. I was thinking of putting a bit of Tesseract Glow on here, but I thought, nah, we could mix it up a little bit. It looks a lot nicer like this, I think. Here is the next one with the Plasma Cannon. I really like the look of this guy as well. Of course, I've used the Tesseract Glow. It just does a really cool effect whenever there's a gun with Plasma, so like the Hell Blasters. If I ever get my hands on some more Hell Blasters, I'll probably use the Tesseract Glow on there because it's really cool for like Plasma. It just puts a shine on the model, I think. Then I have another space beam with the last cannon, but this guy's actually firing this one. As you can see, his helmet is in the scope, getting ready to fire the last cannon. I definitely prefer the look of this guy, the way he's holding it, you know how he's in the motion, ready to fire the gun. Last but not least, we do have the sergeant. This guy has the plasma gun and then he has this really cool, oh, I don't know what the name of it is, but on the backpack, I've always liked the look of that. Then he has like the little Aquila there. He has that same sort of Aquila design on there where it's nice and green, it's really cool. So yeah, they are the five at the front. This is the dedicated transport for my Devastators. I got the decals from my friend as you can see here. Really like the look of these decals because 
They just stand out a lot because they're actually coming out of the model. I'll just turn them a little bit so you can see the back. I really like the look of the back. Then we have the other five. I'm not going to go into too much detail with these guys because of course they're just ordinary space marines. So I'm not really going to go into detail like I've said. But they are what they look like. Still pretty cool as you can see on the visor. Use the Tesseract Glow again. But yeah, that is pretty much it for the Devastator squad. So guys, that was a look at my Devastator squad. I hope you did enjoy it. I hope you liked the Rhino that I added with them. Because of course I'm expanding my company, trying to get a full company, so I need the transport as well. But I hope you did like the look of them. That was probably my first Ultramarine unboxing and showcase since I got the McCrag Blue. So remember, there's going to be a lot more videos just like this on my Ultramarines, so please stay tuned for that if you like Space Marines. But yes guys, if you did enjoy it, please remember to leave a like and subscribe if you are new. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.